Why, hello! This is Hager's Hangout. I'm going to show you something um, that I've been using for almost a month now. And people have asked me, so I'm going to go ahead and explain it. This right here is a CPAP. So you get two little masks that you get nowadays. One that's called AirFit P10, which gets shoved into your nose. And another that's a Dreamwear that you put on your face. Like this. It, it exposes your conch. Okay. So we're going to uh, show you the pros, the cons, how to use it, etc. Okay. So first thing you uh, uh, you get is a fancy dancy case with all the cords and accessories that uh, go go inside. Okay. Then you get a bunch of paperwork and. Um, one thing that you have to be deliberate about is you need distilled water. Not tap water, not boiled water, but distilled water. Because it's without purities. Like uh, impure, it's without impurities such as iron, uh, vitamins, calcium deposits, etc. So, you go ahead, get into your most comfortable nightwear. So here's your machine, right here. Whoopsie. Can't tilt it. I'm gonna move this stuff off. So this is your machine right here. You can tap the screen, do a few settings, and you're good to go, in theory. You go ahead and open up this water reservoir by pinching and pulling. And then you open it up like so. And then you pour water, distilled water only, into the water reservoir. And you button it up. And inside, there's a heating element right there, that metal, and that warms the air. I don't know why they do warm air. In the back, you have your power right here that I just plug into the brick and into the wall. Easy peasy. You have your memory card that goes into the side. And this um, uses T-Mobile to uh, relay the information directly. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the more uncomfortable mask first. You wash the mask once a week. A minimum of once every other week, but I am going to be uh, cleaning them once a week. And it's as simple as plug one end into the machine, one end into your favorite or least favorite um, adapter. Okay, just plug it in. Now, with the nose adapter, you apparently need a chin lift. So, so this goes under, underneath your chin and then you button it up, up on top. Then, you put this in your nose.
like this. Let's see if you can see that. It's like this. So then you can just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Well, breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Then it automatically starts if you set it up that way. Let me show you the pros and cons of this way. One pro. You can exhale out of your mouth. Well, there's one major con though. Watch this. So, you're in your back right yeah try to fall asleep but now this is dangling really nilly and it gets in the way when you're trying to cover up very inconvenient also if you ever ever let's move this also if you ever open up, if you ever open up your mouth, if you ever open up your mouth, the air from your nose will exit through your mouth. So it is um, not as efficient. However, if you can sleep breathing in through your nose only and uh, out through your nose, in through your nose, just your nose only, this can be one heck of a good option. I sleep underneath covers. I don't care if it's negative 30 below or 90 degrees above. I sleep underneath covers. So this cord gets in the way. But this is a legit option. But let me see, let me show you the other option. I don't, you got a chin guard, which I guess that helps having your mouth shut. I don't know how the nose works with people who snore, but c'est la vie. All right. So now I'm showing you the, they call full face mask, but online you look this up as a hybrid mask, okay? First you take your mask and you hook it up. You hook up by just forcing it in with the nose piece pointed towards the valve or the snorkel. Let's call this a snorkel because I guess it sort of works like a snorkel. All right, now you put it on. Where this will then connect to the sides, minimizing wobble. Okay. Weird, right? I really hope this mic picks up. Alrighty. Then you tap the top. Then again, it automatically kicks on.
And as you can see, okay, the pro, the pro of this is you can uh, breathe through your nose or your mouth. And here's another pro. Try to sleep in, right? So you can put them inside the sleeping bag and the sleeping goes above. Far more comfortable. Okay. And you don't get that benefit from the nose. Is it possible? that it can be more comfortable for some the other way? Yes, but it's not more comfortable for me. I don't know if it's, yeah. Different methods for different people. I have tried both systems, but since I, I love sleeping uh, in, in, inside uh, a sleeping bag, this style, is far less of a hassle. So that is just the information on what uh, what features you have with um, the AirSense 11. Um, yes, this automatically goes to your uh, dock every single night so they can keep track. Um, you have to use it at least four times a week, four hours a day. Um, it is Bluetooth, so I can pair it up with my phone, so I can keep, keep track on not your sleep schedule, but it only keeps track of how often you use this and how many times you have breathing problems. It does not track how much sleep you get very big misconception. Um, this has reduced my snoring from never to never, but snoring was not my problem. It so far has not increased my sleep at all. Um, this has a humidifier tank on it, which you really want it's it's dry in the desert so uh i would recommend cranking it up a bit um because it gets humid i i mean it it gets very dry and i get sore sore uh back of the throat and sore nose a lot when i don't um, after 13 months of me experimenting with this, then I get to keep it. Quite frankly, I am not enjoying it yet, but I've only had it for a few weeks. I will see. I will try both to see if eventually I can use that one. But the biggest problem that I have with the pet, uh, this mask is, it starts with low pressure at, uh, it starts with a level four or five when you're starting out. Then it ramps up, ramps up, and eventually gets a, um, a pressure like 14. Problem that I have is when it's pressure 14, I can't breathe out since this covers your full face, and, uh, your nose and your mouth, and I have difficulty exhaling. So that since the pressure outside is greater than what I have inside trying to cram it out. So there's times when I have to break the seal just for me to exhale. Um, if you know someone who snores, this might be recommended especially if you want to smother them <laughs> as an alternative. Um, but 
I will give it another couple of months, but realistically, I hate this thing. <laughs> I really do. I hope I get used to it and it it helps, but in general, it's a waste of electricity, it's a waste of water, it um I wake up with a sore throat. Um, I don't get any additional sleep. It's not for me. <laughs> Maybe it might be for, for me after me using it for such a long time, but as it, as it stands right now, I hate this thing. <laughs> I really do. And this is not a cheap device. This, uh, this itself is like, 1600 bucks and you have to replace all the stuff that goes with it monthly by month uh, every six months and every so often the hose has to be replaced the uh, uh, the mass has to be replaced the adapters everything needs to be replaced cleaning it is easy I don't mind the cleaning just throw this soap in uh, in the um, bathroom sink, submerge it for like two minutes, and then rinse it, rinse it. That's very important. But this system, is just not worth it to me. It takes up a lot of space, a lot of reality. I like my glasses taking my reality. I, I like my watch taking up my uh, reality. This hose gets everywhere, like all over the place. May maybe it's the fact that I'm on a cot, but this thing just keeps getting in my way. And this snorkel, nice feature. I like the snorkel system compared to that old system.